Hey, Spuddies! Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI as Germany. And I think we've got a bit of a problem. And I have a little bit of a confession to make. I I've already played these next few turns, and let me tell you, they don't go well for us. So I thought I could grind out a win by just pushing for victory as hard as possible, but let me tell you, um, the level of musketman production that Maya is able to put out and the amount of man-at-arms that they're able to kill is just absurd. Thanks to the 50% production discount on the, um, on units here, that it's actually just, it's actually just not worth my time to continue the war, um, based on, yeah, it's just, it just isn't worth it. So the best thing to do is to piece her out. I really don't want to do this. However, I will get a ton of gold for this peace deal and I'll get two cities of it. I think, despite this technically being a terrible idea, it is actually the best thing that we can do. I hate it, but it's what we can do. Now, we have some problems. Namely that there are barb camps like here, uh, here, uh, there will be more spawning potentially. We have pretty good coverage on like not getting barb spawns. We've got like stuff spread out. But I think by piecing her out and then just focusing on retaking Koba as much as I can and try to get a settler here, just get, get loyalty pressure on Koba, I think we can make this work. So if we come into the city of Lucas, I'm going to spend 110 gold to buy the commercial hub spot so we can go ahead and build that that'll be four gold per turn potentially once we get it i still haven't even built the campus here but i need gold more than i need science right now and it's just going to be a process of like stabilizing and recovering our empire but i think it's going to be an interesting challenge because i just i i tried to make the war work and i think i got about like 10 turns in and it just went awfully and i just i am i, I like checked out of the game i actually i rage quit uh to be totally honest with you i completely rage quit uh, because it was the most annoying frustrating bullshit game i'd ever played uh it, this particular game is civ 6 but now uh, now that I'm like, okay, 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 let's try to peace out and see if we can win passively, see if we can win economically, see if we can claw our way out of this hole, right? And I think that's going to be a more interesting, not only is it a more interesting video, it's going to be more interesting for me to play, um, I think, because I think we got about as much mileage as I can stick out of the whole, like, forever war thing. All right, let's take on him. We have Koba surrounded. Like, we can we can keep Koba secured by continuously shooting at it and stuff. And Yak's chilling is only minus four loyalty. So if we can get, you know, people over there, I think we can make this work. Um, I do need to get a lot of ranged units kind of going this way to clear this off. And uh, clearing this off will be its own adventure. But yeah, we've just been, we've gotten hammered by not only the AI, but also by barbarians this game. And I, I tried to forever war my way out of it and it just didn't really work for me. So I'm going to try a new approach. Right, there's plus three error score for building our very first commercial hub with three or higher adjacency, or maybe it was four or higher adjacency, I don't remember. Uh, but that's great because now it means in the capital we can go for the market. Although we can't really justify going for the market because we still have to deal with this stuff up here. So I think it would be good for me to get like a couple more mounted arms in the capital and send them to help clear this out with crossbows behind. Uh, we do need to clear out this pike and shot, so that will be a fun endeavor. We definitely want to get things like their quarries up. We need to recapture this as fast as we can. Um, and the battle for Koba is going to be a continuous one. But here's the thing, as long as we control Koba, we can prevent um, Yaks Chillin from, f from flipping. So I think, I think this is just an opportunity for us to continuously fight this city. Uh, go ahead and kill him and then you clear the city. We just about, yeah, we'll get our six units surrounding it. We'll have some range units here. It's going to be fine. We're repairing our farming tiles. We're putting you here. You're going to sleep. Uh, we're building things like pastures. Okay, this guy's ready for a level up. I'm going to take the battle cry promotion. You're going to heal. You're going to heal. You're going to take the city. We go perfect. You're going to heal. We will keep the city. There is loyalty of three turns. Eventually, we might actually be able to keep this, um, but for now, it'll just keep our army busy. So we'll put Magnus into Koba um, to be assigned to the city, and that will give us four turns. Um, the grievances with Founder might eventually be something we overcome, but now we just got to bide our time. We got to see if we can hold Braveheart style, you know? And we also need to get Yaks chilling, you know, in good shape. I would like the city to grow more. It has a decent surplus, so I think we can just leave it the way it is. Uh, we got pretty bad amenities right now. But there's not much we can do about it. Like, this is meant to be a Ludwig game, but I, I don't even know how to describe it. We don't even have Niter online. Yeah, it's just, it's just, this is a chaos game. 100% chaos. We definitely want to get some of these mines online, though. Um, that is for damn sure. We have like a, like, and especially Lucas, like, I don't even know what Lucas is doing. I don't even know how the city has, like, done anything this game. All it has is farms. And it doesn't even have farms. It just has, like, these weird, crappy pasture tiles. I need builders. I need buildings. I need districts. I need everything, man. All right, we'll rip down this pike and shot, and then we can clear that barb camp. And then we can drive our attention over to here. But hopefully we can start to, like, get slightly better relationships with people on the map. Uh, right now, Wilfred Laurier is basically our, like, bridge 
to like the rest of the world diplomatically. So I'm wondering if he'd like to buy. Yeah, he would love to buy my stuff. So I'm going to sell him stuff. Somehow I have 58 gold per turn. Oh, I got a bunch of money from Lady Six Guy. That really helps. That actually helps so much. Okay, I'm going to kill this crossbowman before he gets the heal uh, from pillaging our farm. We're going to go ahead and build the market there. We need those trade routes. I need to secure a trade route to Niani. I also need to explore his territory. So I think getting a courser here makes total sense. Well, the units are still cheap. We've got a commercial hub here. Let's build a market. The gold uh, push that we're going to be getting from Cahokia is potentially game changing for us. 19 turns, three turns. Okay. We'll have to figure out how to get a little bit more loyalty in here. Let me have a look. What's what's the grievances with her looking like? Maybe I should have traded her back a city or something. But she is losing um, six grievances per turn, which is a decent rate. Let's go ahead and take the promotion on you. You fortify. Stay there. You're in position. Um, you're heading down to go ahead and build more mines. We definitely need mines in this area. There's a lot of production that we're missing out on. Right, go ahead and drop a mine there. Drop a mine there. It's time to start recovering. You're heading over to the mining zone. Got to make sure I have a garrison in every city. You can actually go and be this, that city's garrison because I do have the retainers card plugged in, giving me amenities from garrisoning. I'm probably going to plug out feudal contract at my let next thingy. Oh, potential clearing of barb camp. Clear this barb camp. You head back there. You head down here to fog bust. I think right there's a good spot. And you'll like fog bust here, I think. I took a shot from the crossbowman. There's plus one error score. Diplomatic service as well. Let's get in here, get that kill. Step forward tentatively, bring the man at arms forward, and I think everything is starting to stabilize. I would love to be buying builders, so let's go and drop feudal contract. We don't need feudal contract anymore. We don't need oligarchic legacy anymore, really. I think the plus one production here is really helpful. We also need to think about loyalty. So uh, plus two loyalty, and it would be nice to get... Machiavellianism to get spies. But I think the plus one production per turn is actually just massive for my empire because I have 10 cities. It really just makes a difference. We are going to go ahead. I think we're going to stay in monarchy. I think monarchy's fine for what we want to do. Yeah, loyalty's bad. Loyalty's bad, but getting better. It's only 1.2 falling. So it can't really get worse than that, you know? Let's grab naval tradition for the envoy. Then we're going to head towards humanism into mercantilism, into civil engineering, because we want the better builder charge card. We have the better builder charge card, but we want the better, better builder charge card. So most of the AI does not like us, but we have acceptable relationships with most of them. The city will flip next turn, but that's fine. Hell yeah, get down here, get that production going. We'll need builders soon. I think it would make sense to buy some builders. I think the city of Lucas needs a builder the most of any city because it just it just has crap tiles. And so even farms there would be really helpful. Okay, basically every city has a garrison. You're, Lucas is missing a garrison. We'll, we'll bring a crossbow over from here and we'll bring this crossbow down. Take that spot. I think we're looking okay. If I was settling this land, which I think I might do, I think I would settle here because there's a decent harbor it captures the vast majority of this land here. We avoid this crappy snow area. We use this kind of less crappy snow area. It's got like a couple of camps. So that's one, two, three. So maybe I would settle another city like uh, there. Well, I would want to get all of this. So I think here would be the spot. So I definitely settle a city there and then maybe settle on the gypsum. Yeah, that feels appropriate. So we're going to keep building up our economy. So I got one, two, three settlers to go. Uh, four settlers, five settlers. So I need to get five settlers, which I think is going to be part of our goals when we hit maybe our next key tech and we have our traders up. We also need to make sure that we can secure this trade route because if I remember correctly, there was like a barb camp somewhere nearby that was like spawning crap. Yeah, there's even a settler that we could potentially get. I don't want to shoot that because I really want to get it. Koba has flipped. Can we take the city in a single round of attacks? Probably. Swap you. Shoot. Shoot him. Shoot him. Attack there. Shoot him. Attack. Attack. And then attack. Attack. We'll take that city out. We did get the courser here that we were hoping for. Let's move him up. The city of Dan. Well, we should probably rename some of these. We'll we'll get to renaming cities eventually, right? Listen, this is just been a chaos game. We got to make it work. Um, I do like the idea of getting the library. I also like the idea of getting a Hansa. There's a plus three Hansa right there. Uh, that feels very Germany. So let's do it. Go like Hansa into library. We get our Hansa and then we dance. Uh, we definitely need to get traders. So we're going to start the construction of traders. If you like to dance, go down to the Hansa. We're going to go ahead and put a little farmland here. You keep them moving. We're going to put a whole ring of farms around Lucas. Nice potential settler steal here. Yoink. That's actually that's actually the biggest thing like that has happened in my favor since the start of the game is stealing that settler. I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> Nothing else has gone well. Would love to get my Diplo quarter. Would love to get the Hansa. 
would love to get I think we need the intelligence agency to catch up so I've got to get started on that let's keep getting the tr farms and the trade routes okay I uh, need to go repair that you're kind of swooping in around exploring he doesn't like me very much so I don't think open borders are going to work very well for us uh go ahead and escape I mean this is a good opportunity to keep getting levels on these some of these units because the city shouldn't be able to defeat us I'm just gonna let the crossbows I'm just gonna let the crossbows bow it down um this city is now loyal which is great the more I let this city's loyalty bleed and just shoot it down with crossbows the more experience I get and also the less times that I have to capture the city and like redo all the micro on it and it also gives time for the grievances to dissipate so there is something there that's worth talking about and my troops are merely passing by Sundiata. So there's siege tactics, naval tradition as well. We could go for settlers now. I don't know if I want to move that courser up here. I would like to make a dedication. I think I'm going to do a dedication towards the heartbeat of steam. In terms of production, or rather science, I do think it would make sense to go for banks here. This would represent a huge amount of gold to my empire. Nine gold per turn per city is huge. We do have a lighthouse. Let's get that. We're, we're just all in on getting our trade up to get that cash flowing. Blast the city of Koba down to a reasonable level while these guys heal up your full health. You wouldn't quite kill it, so we'll just wait a turn. I'm being denounced, but of course, I mean, of course, some of these people hate me. Uh, it totally makes sense because I'm I'm public enemy number one in the world. But we are slowly recovering, mostly on a gold front. All right, let's have a look. Where could we use some builders? We definitely don't need builders over here or here. You're fine. You don't really need a builder. We could also buy tiles. That's another thing that we can consider. I think I would like my gold to be going towards... Ooh, wait, how much is a settler? It's only 680 gold for me to buy settlers, so that might be what I do with that excess gold. Let's get started on the market. I would love to build the campus, but the market is the play. Uh, we did get the trader in here. Let's get the trader. And God, I want gold. So let me have a look at potential trade routes here. Miskolk to Lugdunum is a big one. So let's go Miskolk to look at them you just finished your commercial hub as well let's get the market i think we're fight we're finally going to have like a little bit of economy now and it honestly it feels so damn good okay the city is now officially under siege uh let's take it why not we will keep the city minus 7.3 loyalty amazing i'll assign magnus to the city of Koba. Now we have full loyalty in here and we have officially secured an empire. Now, can we turn this empire into a win? That's another question. I don't know if we have enough time. I do know that we have a powerful empire, like relatively speaking, and we also have a lot of units that could translate. But the problem is there are a lot of, um, they're melee units and ranged units. And this is the phase of the game where heavy cavalry and siege really take over in terms of their power level. So this is honestly the worst time to have these units be focused on really really bad performing units um which kind of sucks but it is what it is make the argument that i could have switched to knights at some point or something you know but hey it would have been smart right lucas is now officially farmed out on a tuesday afternoon the sun is still out we're gonna go ahead and trade with lugged them boom we want another trade route over here loving the idea of getting these niter far night niter mines online we're doing a little exploring so pe people should start to warm up to me as these grievances go away just it'll take a while but people, people should warm up. Um, but there's a whole bunch of crap going on. Great people being got. You know, all, all the usual... The, ooh, don't like that. Don't like that barb camp. Not a fan. All right, library completed in Dan. I think it would be good for us to get the workshop. It's seven turns. However, it would also be awesome if I were to get, like, traders and builders. So I think I'm just going to get myself a couple of traders. Keep that production line going. You finally finished something useful. Um, wouldn't be bad to get a holy site in here. Boss... The real meme is to get a preserve, right? Um, if we wanted to meme about, uh, we don't want to meme about. We want to be serious here. Besides, preserves don't get the half price discount that normally districts do get. Um, there's like a little bit of snakery we can do by cleverly maneuvering our borders. We can put a Hansa right there. And the Hansa would be fantastic because we can dance. We got the trader here. Now, I think the best trade route that we had was still uh, Yaks Chillin to Cahokia. But there was actually an equally good trade route in the city of Miskolk. So we will do that. Let's keep getting those traders going, man. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling something. I ain't quite sure what it is yet, but I'm feeling it. One might call it hope, um, but I, I hesitate to say the word hope this soon. So do I want to settle a city here? I don't think I do. So I've got a settler for there. I really want a settler here to get that muscle, that, that loyalty muscle and just fill in this land. So I'm going to get that settler over there. We're looking okay. Man, great people are just going. Like every single turn, multiple great people are going. Somebody just got Leonardo, who like typically would be my guy, right? I would, I would get Leonardo. 
He's my dude. Anyone want to sell me luxuries? Oh, yes. Thank you for those luxuries. That's really helpful, actually. Um, I've got three envoys. I think it would be nice to be Susan of Cahokia. I'll put one envoy to Hong Kong. It's a decent amount of pr potential production. Oh, man, that's a double line infantry situation right there. Not great. Mine in the capital. Lovely. I think we will get more mines in the capital. I mean, I like that. I like that wheat tile too right so your fog busting duties can be moved slightly we're waiting for gold to buy that tile trading with Cahokia that's plus one envoy that's beautiful owie uh let's settle the city you can begin shooting you go into full retreat you fortify you fortify behind him to provide him with bonuses uh you can go garrison frankfurt for me okay market completed in this city let's get the campus we need that little bit of science to start catching up uh market completed in here let's go ahead and get that trader traders are coming out you would like to get a granary so that you can grow faster and the city of magdeburg why don't you go ahead and get me the monument granary opener combo um definitely need builders i think i would buy this tile next turn it's a nighter tiles are fantastic plus it would give me access to nighter which is something i could potentially sell to the ai speaking of selling things to the ai would canada like to buy you would pay 300 gold for those hell yeah um that's potentially another settler that's potentially tiles i can buy improving the quality of my land all right i think the trade route the good trade routes were from yaks chillin right let me check yeah yaks chillin to cahokia was the play so we'll put a trade route there um and then the second best gold trade route was yaks chillin to yeah they're all yaks chillin trade routes so yaks chillin will be the gold city um we will continue to build traders until we can't then would love a hansa this is a good Hansa right here, I think. We'll get that Hansa. Shoot that guy. You're fortified. We're well protected. And you know what, man? We've like totally just made the switch to an economic game. We just got Dortmund. I'm going to go ahead and give this city like an extra one of these farm tiles. You're going to take these two farm tiles. These are your two farm tiles. Awesome. Awesome. We'll need to get stuff down here. Would love to have Magnus occupying the city, but I don't know if we really have the loyalty to spare. You know what? Yaks Chillin doesn't need a governor anymore. I'm going to move Magnus to Dortmund. Boom. And then I'll move Amani to Koba. Boom. And then that should be us good. We're good. So speaking of the city Dortmund, we need all the basic stuff in here. I'm going to go Watermill Granary Monument. So the, the way to think about watermills and granaries is it's like you have a extra population in the city working a, uh, a three food, one production tile. So that's the way I want you to think about the watermill. And similarly, the granary is like you have an extra population in the, in the city working a three food tile, but you don't pay any of the growth penalties. So that's why these are really, really good to get early in the city's growth cycle because it will allow them to grow really quickly. We will place some districts here. I'm going to go, well, I mean, the stereotypical thing to do as Germany is to go like commercial hub and Hansa. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, because, you know, if I was a German person, I would live up to the stereotype. And I don't even mean just like the, the stereotype of like, oh, the Lederhose, that's Bavaria, okay? All right, listen, there's many Germanies, okay? I would live up to every stereotype in Germany. I would tell extremely mundane jokes. Uh, if I was from Berlin, I would go to uh, crazy night nightclubs, you know, raves and stuff. I'm not going to say the next stereotype because I can't, I don't actually know them. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the two. Those are the two that I know. <laughs> um, it would be good to get a theater square. I would love to start getting my culture up. The city of Miskolk is kind of an interesting one. It's got its trade route, so we should totally get the trader. We need to start thinking about our stats. Like, we need to start thinking about simming. Um, let's trade with Mascato and Cahokia. Is that really the best one? It does not feel like the best one. So somehow, Maya and Australia declared war on me. A little bit confused by that. Um, I guess this means we need to move into a defensive posture. So we'll move you to there. You fall back. You move to there. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty good. We're, we're in a slightly more defensive posture. I don't know why Australia is at war with me. That to me is baffling. Um, it is also slightly annoying because he could potentially pillage some of my stuff. But listen, we will cross the bridges as they come. Um, well, if it isn't the bridge that I said I would cross because we have to trade through Australia. Let's go and trade somewhere else. Let's just go to go to Miskol, try to trade over the water. Hope Australia doesn't have a navy. Australia has a navy. Um, that's a problem. That's a problem. We can maybe get peace. Oh, Magdeburg is just straight up dying. Oh, God. Uh, we're going to make it work. Look. Things are a little bit scary right now, but that doesn't mean that's how it's going to be for the rest of the game. I think I think we can make it work, right? We got the monument in here. Um, it would be nice to get the Hansa. It would also be nice to have walls here. Wow, you took so much damage. It's insane. Fall back. Shoot. Get that kill. Come on. There you go. We'd like to see. All right, let's get walls up in these frontal cities. I think that is a totally reasonable thing to do. 
Um, let's drop Limitanier for a few turns while we plug in Limes to get these ancient walls up. I think that's also totally reasonable to do. Um, we only need to be at war with these guys for like nine turns before we can beg for peace and beg we shall because we just, I don't think I can afford to do war anymore. I think I just need peace to be able to climb my way out of this massive hole. However, there is an opportunity here for, ow, ow. Okay, we need reinforcements like now to the front line. Would love to trade with Niani is not an option. Move that to Miskolk. Um, if we can kill this line infantry, come on, come on. Okay, we bought ourselves another turn. You totally need to, like, get me some units up there. Uh, let's see if we can't make some knights happen. They might help. Um, Trader and Dan really need crossbows to potentially... Well, I can't even afford to really just... I can't really afford to increase my military. I have to focus on the other things. So, would love to be building a bank right now. Would love to be building a university right now. Would love to be building a workshop. I think I need the university out of all of those things. Governor title available. Let's grab Liang. I'm just going to plonk her into our city at random. Lucas, there you are. We have a spy. I'm going to put the spy into... Um, who's good to steal from? Probably the, the pound maker, the Cree. Um, okay. We're fortified. All fortified on the Mayan front. Uh, you could totally... Oh, they're in like... They're in the ocean. Of course they are. Of course they are. Um, all right. Hopefully this city heals a little bit and we can maybe kill this line infantry. Um... Super don't care about this. Maybe go city center again. It would help me. Um, Swedish Nobel Prize. Listen, dude, I don't even know if I'm winning this game. <laughs> the Nobel Prize is like way out of reach. I don't even think the Nobel Prize is like possible for me. Campus and scientific city states. All right. So there's definitely like a bias there. It's fine. Boom. Could really use like some proper units. Let's get the campuses. We definitely need to get our science up a little bit right now. Our trade routes are kind of barely surviving. We'll trade with Rome. That's fine. No more trade routes are in the bank. We could do the Hansa for the Danza. Let's do it. And we could also get a campus. Ooh, there's a plus three campus right there. Let's prioritize getting our science up a little bit. Then I'm also super okay with the theater squared. There's no way we're going for a culture victory this game, by the way. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, people are probably like, why aren't you doing a culture victory? You're playing Ludwig, soy. And let me tell you, you can continue to soy out. I will not be going for a culture victory this game. It's, it is not really possible. Uh, well, no, I haven't even built a holy site. Listen, you guys are crazy if you want me to go for a tourism victory right now, okay? You're crazy. It's the kind of crazy I like, the kind of crazy I appreciate, particularly in, you know, uh, my dating life, but it's not the kind of crazy I want in my game of Civ, right? Just boundaries, all right? That's the boundary I'm setting. God, he's got pike and shot cores. That's terrifying. Um, all right, so city is a little grumpy, but we have taken out the melee units. The melee units have been defeated. Their feet have been taken. They have been defeated. We definitely want theater squares, I think. We just need stats. Like, that's the thing. We need good stats. Um, and so theater squares represent good stats, but let's focus on the science first. I think our, our main way out of this hole, I think, is a, is a science victory, in all honesty with you. Um, science victory is a great backup. Oh, God, I'm losing the game victory type. So it's one that I typically go for when I'm in this situation. Ow. That hurt. That guy does a lot of damage. Field cannon. Also hurt, like I did a lot of damage. Let's just fall back. You did your best. It wasn't good enough. Things your dad says to you uh, for 500, Alex. Let's go ahead and send a trade route to Congo or Hong Kong rather, not Congo. Hong, Hong Kong, um, a totally different civilization. We should totally get a theater square right there. Loving it, loving it, loving it. We got the the walls that'll make the city grow. Like, let's go for the watermill and the granary. We want to get the city growing because the higher the population, the more resilient we are to any potential dark ages. Um, you have been obliterated. So why don't you fall back this way? We will move you up this way. One tile will move this archer to the left to provide combat strength. We have ancient walls almost. Right, we just have a full ass line of units fortifying. Um, would love to like chop out a builder here so that I can continue to chop. Why are you sending a settler here? Excuse me? Um, did you just donate a settler? The AI is donating to me. They feel bad. <gasps> They're donating. Any donos? Boom. Free, free settler. I mean, I'm taking that. There's no universe in which I don't just take the free settler. Um, we shoot there. You just run away. That's your job. You retreat to here. You take up this tile. You blast this guy. You blast this guy. You blast this guy. Okay. He's blasted. We're blasting. We're fortified. We got the library of Lucas. We definitely need the university. We need that science to catch up. Uh, we definitely need the university again. However, I really want to place a, I really want to place like a theater square. I'm going to do it. I'm going to lock that in. University in five turns. We got the ancient walls over here in Armagh. This is totally a, uh, you know, commercial hub city. And then we'll place the Hansa here. I'll go for the Hansa first because a lot of potential production from that Hansa. You go there to Chansa and Danza and chop out Melanza. 
I don't know what that all means. Yeah, we're being short. How long until peace? Four turns. Okay. Um, you took a pretty bad hit. Let's move up this guy. You stand here to give adjacency because you actually give combat strength bonuses when you're adjacent to land units because it counts as being supported. Um, you moved it there. You shoot the field, the felt cannonen. University completed in Dan. Uh, we have built a university inside of Dan. A very strange sentence. Sentences I would never expect myself to say out loud. Let's get the workshop. Verkeshope, perhaps, 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 perhaps. We would love a builder in here. I think there's a lot of potential for farming. Ancient walls. Yeah, yeah, we like that. Let's get the granary. We're settling this city. Mainz. Get the monument into the granary. Definitely want to get ourselves a little harbour here. Harboreal. A harboreal forest. We definitely want the monument and granary. You are defending the borders. We're going to chop out a builder. We'll chop out another builder because I am that kind of degenerate. That's a lot of noise. Um, ooh, damn. Um, shoot there. Can you attack safely? You can from within the city. You're going to take a hit if you stay here. I don't want you to take a hit. You get into that city to heal. You can fortify there. You're well defended. You can shoot this guy and you can shoot this guy and then you can shoot this guy. Kind of like just getting damage in. We're hurting their armies. We've got a pretty big military, so we should be able to piece them out. They both should look at my military score and how little they've done to my cities and be like, hey, you know what? But however, the one downside is I'm not inside their territory. So they might be like, oh, we're winning because we're like inside his land. Um, sometimes that's how the AI thinks. So you have to kind of like push them to make them realize that they're actually losing the war. Okay, okay, you got the surround. The Pike and Shock core needs to be dealt with. So I'm going to move this crossbowman down. We're going to shoot you there. You're going to shoot. Can you? What if you, What if the city shoots? All right, what if the archer shoots? What if you attack here and then you retreat? Okay, and you fall back through. Um, you shoot that guy. Okay, I want to get you into the city to provide combat fire. We got the Hansen Frankfurt. That's amazing. Uh, totally wasn't expecting that. Let's go ahead and buy this tile. And then immediately start on the commercial hub because it's going to be, you know, that's part of the dream. This will be some other district. I don't know what this will be. It'll be something. We'll figure it out. Kahoki amount here does make sense, as does a mine. You want to steal tech. So why don't you go ahead and gain sources and then start stealing tech. I definitely need to build another spy that's like on the cards. Oh, shoot. Ow. It's funny because I shouted, oh, shoot, when that's exactly what I didn't do. I didn't shoot. Okay, we got the knight in the capital. Finally, we can maybe start to do something a little bit more reasonable in here. Let's get the Hansa. Uh, we definitely also want the Diplo Quarter. I'm going to just plant it like there. Um, and then we have the campus as well. We'll place that. I think we'll go for the Diplo Quarter first. You managed to get a theater square. Um, let's get those amphitheaters so we can start upping our culture a little bit because our science is up, our, but we need our culture to catch up a bit. Um, in Dortmund, I am going to spend a little bit of gold on the chopping side of things because I think that just improves the city significantly. All right, make sure we kill this if we can. Perfect. You're going to step out of the city. You're going to take over the city. You're going to take over the city too. You're going to become a crossbowman. Although I don't want to spend 250 gold on that. So it might not happen. How are we looking at the possibility of peace? How do you feel about peace? So they would take a piece. I'll take a white piece. I'll do that. Australia, how would you feel about a white piece? He wants three gold per turn. Three gold per turn is nothing. Okay, for a piece. For a war I don't even want to be a part of. Perfect. Especially because he has frigates now and that's scary. We've got the university in Lucas, which is fantastic. We can place another district. Would love to place a theater square. Don't know if I want to place it right now. Uh, let's get the workshops. We need to get our production up a smidge. We've got a builder over here in Dan. Let's get the workshops up. We need, need to get our production up a smidge again. Just a smidge. Just this schmudge uh, workshops. I think our great engineer situation is going to be how we maybe dig our way out of these holes. Um, let's chop out another builder in the city of Dortmund. This seems to be like working really well. You spend a build charge on a builder to get a builder. Um, that seems like super worthwhile. In fact, I'll do it again. And you bet your bottom dollar I'll probably do it again. This is a great way. A great way to accelerate um, the amount of builders you have is to chop out builders with builders. It's a really, really fun technique that I've been doing since the game launched. It's probably one of the techniques that as a player you should learn. Uh, because of the sheer amount of value that it provides you. All right, let, let's do an assessment of the situation. I'm bottom science, I'm bottom culture, I'm bottom gold, I'm bottom everything, except for military, okay? I am just this game's bottom. But that doesn't mean I have to stay that way forever, okay? Pretty soon, we're going to enter into our daddy phase. We're going to take over the world. It'll be gravy. It'll be good. We got it, right? Hopium in the, hopium in the, in the comments, please. Uh, shipyard is a go. Astronomy. Diplomatic quarter has been finished in Benjamin Saiv. Let's go for the consulate. We definitely want those influence points. I like that. And we have the market and granary and watermill in Dortmund. So we can get started on these districts. I think we had the commercial hub and Hansa placed. I think it would make sense to get a... If we were to buy like these two tiles, we could maybe do something interesting. Um, let's put some turns into the Hansa. 
Hansel and the Gretel. Farm here, lovely. Definitely need to get myself one more settler. Um, we got the granary and yaks chilling. Don't care about the holy site so much in this city. Would much prefer maybe to get like a commercial hub or even a harbor. Also might just build an encampment because the city is bad. And encampments are good to build in cities you don't care about because they provide you with military militaristic defensive capabilities. Go ahead and switch over to builders. We chop out the builder. Perfect. Um, you're in position to chop that tile next turn. So we'll be able to do that. Um, we have a whole bunch of tiles potentially that need modifications. All right. Yeah, we'll go ahead and put the Kahoki amount here. Because if we can get some of these districts repaired, that'll eventually be useful. Remember, those Kahoki amounts, they give amenities, right? That's a big deal in an empire that is like drowning in no amenities. We're, we are doing the opposite of drowning. We're like in the vacuum of space when it comes to amenities. We found it Ulm, the best city in Germany. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on Granary Monument. It's stereotypical starting builds in these cities. Eventually we will get builders down here to make a difference. This is, this is not going to be quick. It's gonna, this is going to take some time. Get a builder there. Chop, chop, chop. We get the Hansa coming in a turn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We've got a five charge builder here where we send them. I guess we could send them over to Mainz. Um, and then after this last chop in the city of Dortmund, we will probably move a chopper down to Ulm or something like that. Um, we're not too far away from getting conservation so we can start planting woods again once we're done all of our chopping. So I feel a little bit comfortable doing that. So what is the grievance situation now with her? Uh, 300 grievances still, which is pretty bad, um, but it's still better than it was. Okay, we got a theater square in Miskolk. Let's go for the amphitheater to get that little bit of culture. You are gonna go there to chop. You're building a mine. And they call it a mine. Um, definitely happy with this situation. It's so much production. I'm loving it. Ba, 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 ba. Let's take that mine right there. Oh, it wasn't even good. Was it? I don't know. What is it? Is this a hill? No, it's just a random ass woods. It probably was on fire at some point. You want to buy my tobacco. All right, everyone is still denouncing me. But look, less of the faces are now red and angry. Most of them are yellow and just kind of sad looking. Oh, more barbarians. Who could have thought that in this game of Civ that I'm playing, more barbarians would be a possibility? We would love to plug in Trade Confederation. I think it's actually better than Urban Planning, as would be Triangular Trade better than Limes. So I'm going to plug that in. This is just like eco. We're ecoing, baby. We're on the eco train. Why don't you kill there? Why don't you retreat to a safe distance? Why don't you retreat to a safe distance? Uh, we're definitely going to go for Carto. And the meme is to, well, we don't want to go Carto yet. We want to go for gunpowder. We want to build, we want to buy some galleys. So let's start that process now. Magdeburg, I would like three or four galleys. We're gonna go for scorched earth. So we can go for expropriation into mass settling of the new world. Hopefully no one else got there before us. Let's build this Hansa. We can buy ourselves a couple. Can we sell some stuff off? Yes, we can. Right, we'll sell off you, sell off you, sell off you. Can we purchase some luxuries? We can. Then we would like to buy great works of writing. Um, they're only 10 gold each. Okay, perfect. That's four, four culture per turn. Perfect. It did cost us most of our gold, but these are the these are the sacrifices you make. Let's get the commercial hub built. Everything is looking fine. Actually, we're going to go ahead and chop out another builder because that's the process that we're doing in this city. And then we'll go and use the overflow to finish the that thing. Yeah. Okay. I think everything is starting to look great. There's all of the governors. We'll put this governor into mm, Magdeburg. I've got some envoys. I'm going to put two envoys into Hong Kong. I want to start building up that relationship. I'm going to chop here to try and get this repaired. Get that amphitheater overflowed. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can steal some text. Being able to steal some text here would make a difference to my empire. Being denounced by Poundmaker, it's fine. That's just the life that you live sometimes. When you're the when you're public enemy number one, man, sometimes people are just denouncing you. You got to live with that. All right, let's grab Chancery. Um, we got the workshop in the Hansa. Let's go for the bank. I feel like cash is going to be very important to us going into the next phase of the game. So we're going to start building these banks. Um, I'm going to grab an arena because amenities seem kind of cool. Let's move Magnus down to the city of Ulm. Reassign you to Ulm. And we'll start getting a little bit of production and stuff in the city of Mainz with like lumber mills and things like that. Um, go ahead and build those horses. Horses of courses. There's a mine right there. Looking for blue tiles. Blue tiles, I think, means someone is working that tile and it's unimproved. So those are good candidates for like improve that tile. I've, st I've started, like I said, I've started to fall in love. I, well, I don't know if I want to say fall in love. I've started to tolerate the um, builder map mode. I'm, I'm willing to live with the consequences of the builder map mode now. Is that land right there? No way. Oh my God, there's land right there. 
My empire is gargantuan, by the way. It's like genuinely huge. All right, we're going to put a lumber mill there. That'll give the city of mines an actual productive tile. So it might actually finish some of these buildings a little bit faster. This tile needs a mine on it. You are going around repairing all the farms around the city. You are increasing the size of the farmland. You were going to put a Cahokia mount there. But also a farm here is good. But I think I would prefer the Cahokia mount because it actually gives amenities. Um, you can build up to two amenities per city with the Cahokia mount. And that is really keeping us at that content level. I know that like, you might be saying content. That's not that big of a deal. Listen, when the alternative is minus 10% to all your yields, content is amazing, right? Um, okay, so we have a fully built campus in here. We should totally get a bank. That's nine gold per turn. It's huge. We have the Hansa in Arma. Let's get the... Well, I'd like to get the commercial hope. Let's first get the workshop because this city does have fairly low production. So the workshop will actually be really useful. And yeah, a little bit of mineage. You head down to Ulm. And then this builder will go ahead and continue to repair. This builder is just continuing to expand our farmlands to make sure that we have really high food tiles. You're positioned here. You're, the knight is healing. And the galley is just doing like a little bit of light exploration. We do need to buy, I would like three galleys before we get the uh, cross the ocean tech. Right? She's denouncing me. So she's probably thinking about going to war with me again. However, her denouncing me does lower her grievances with me, um, which I'm super okay with. I can't even describe to you how okay with that I am. Let's go ahead and place the Cahokia mound right there. They go three food, three gold. It's not the world's greatest tile, but again, it's plus one amenity. You can't really, you can't really turn your nose up at it that hard, okay? You can turn your nose up at it a little bit, but not that hard. Uh, being denounced by Ramses. Of course I am. I am, again, remember, I am the bastard in this game. Ow. Um, we are going for metal casting. Let's keep you back. Let's buy one more galley. So those are the three galleys. Let's go ahead and switch over to Cart Carto, which will allow us to navigate ocean tiles and we can start to find more land. Okay, great. Go there. What are you doing? You're in position. Mine on that tile. And a little bit of a Cahokia amount here. Again, amenities, food, gold, all the things that are going to just keep us a little bit happier. There's the Enlightenment. Now, the cool thing is we actually haven't built that many, that many settlers this game. So our settlers are still fairly cheap and we have fairly high production cities. We did get the Hansa and Michael McAtee. Uh, let's get that workshop. That's a little bit of production. We've got the Amphitheater and Miss Kalk. Um, there is potential Hansage here. I think we do go for the Hansa Dansa. You're going to heal for a few turns. So it's going to wait. Of course, the field cannons coming forward to cause a little bit of nonsense. I'm relieved to see that your empire poses no threat to ours. God, the AI are just so polite. We are up to 100 science per turn and 100 culture per turn. So we're simming pretty well. Like the fact that our stats are going up evenly um, is, is good. It means we're not we're not top heavy, right? We're, we're managing to, to grow appropriately in the right directions. Go ahead and chop out the harbor in this city. There's a plus three harbor right there. Okay, we place this. You chop that harbor. That means five turns from now, you will have that harbor. You're going to put a mine there. You're going to put a mine there. Definitely need to build things like spies and trade routes and all that sort of stuff. We're 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 staying above water, right? But we are not yet thriving. You managed to get killed. Okay, we lost our first spy. Again, this is just, I feel like I just got bad luck this game. That's life. I got bad luck and I wish, I wish it wasn't as grim. I wish it super wasn't as grim. Cartography plus two gold from fishing boats. So now we can explore the coastline. Let's get a single caravel. The other galleys will just go. Um, right. Let's grab metal casting scientific theory. We're kind of heading in the top half of the tech tree. Let's get the market there. Where do we stand? We definitely want to chop that, I think. Cahokia amount right there feels good. Everything, I, I wouldn't say everything is coming together, but nothing is crumbling um, anymore. Because in order for everything to be coming together, I would have to have something <laughs> to come together with. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Remember when this game was fun. Listen, um, let's go ahead and quickly grab that hand. So then we'll grab that campus. You are building, you built the bank. That's awesome. We have the... Trader, spy, trader, spy. What do you got? You got da -da 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 -da. get me another spy. Excellent. Commercial hub. You have your Hansa. You should totally place your Kampa. Get that market for the trade route because again, the trade route is everything, right? And we also get that extra bit of gold from having friendship with Cah Cahokia. All right, boys. Your main objective is to discover a new world that is filled with hatred. Oh, God. No. Dude. I don't want to conquer the new world. I want to stay home. Oh, God. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. Okay. This is. Oh, no. No. This is the Nope Island. The island made of Nope. Um, we're gonna have to build military to go, go take that island, aren't we? Yep. 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 I don't want to do that. Let's build the workshop here. Seven turns. 
and we will chomp the lighthouse out of the city. Bonk. Overflow into the granary. I would say, like, the pivot we made this episode really put my empire back together. We managed to double our science. We managed to double our culture. Uh, we managed to massively increase our gold per turn. We managed to massively increase the yields of our empire. Yes, for sure. Our empire is nowhere near fixed. Like, it's nowhere near perfect. It's nowhere near fixed. Um, it's still, a you know, a work in progress. But progress has been made. That is the key thing. God, I really just don't want to make temples here. Go ahead and make me a trader because it's a good thing. Just in general. Not a bad spot for a Kahoki amount, at least on the short term. Oh my god, there's so much crap here. I could use a privateer. Oh, there's so much land. There's so much unconquered, unspoiled land. Guys, so much land. All right, industrial error in two turns, plus four error score. That's cool. You know, there's Zanzibar. <gasps> That's huge. We were the first to find them. Gain two envoys from a great merchant. The same turn that we find a new city-state, which means we can instantaneously gain suzerainty of them, thus bumping up our gold a significant amount and getting us a ton of exploration knowledge of the new world. Oh my god, dude. Morty. Morty, we found a new continent, Morty. Uh, nothing encampment here. Let's get the stable. We get the stable because um, the stable boosts siege and horse units, and siege and horse units are just better than most other types of units. We've got a thousand gold in the bank, which is beautiful. We can trade with Niani. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit dubious of that. Let's have a look at the available routes. Uh, Magdeburg to Zanzibar, sure thing. Um, Magdeburg, confirm. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cities to rename. So let's pick out eight names from the Patreon and do that. The city of Magdeburg will now be known as the anonymous Snake City. Frankfurt will henceforth be known as Travis. Ulm will be known as Bill Hemphill. Whatever the city was called is going to be called Joe Wigan Oostigan. I don't even know. <laughs> Miss Kalk will be known as Rudy. Dortmund will be known as Piping Plover. I'm going to be honest with you guys. Some of you guys have like really difficult names. Like Christina de Klerksigli. I'm just assuming that that's a real person's name. And finally, the city of Koba will be known as Galalalo. Gal Galalo. And uh, that is all the cities renamed after Patreons. And I think that's a good point to end the, series, or, or end, end the episode. What do you guys think? Do you think I should just go whole hog and try to settle the entirety of the new world? Like capture everything? Like literally convert my entire empire over to settler production and just have a stream of settler and military units conquering, fighting, taking over that land. And we could do some really interesting and fun, cool things with it. I think that would be kind of an interesting way to play. Anyway, I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.